Hello and welcome to this new start to finish video tutorial, where we will see the development of a photo from start to finish using Neural Mask, Neural Sharp, and Neural Vibrance. But before we start, as always, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and a comment. Let's get started by setting the camera raw to Adobe Standard to have greater control over the dynamic range. Now let's adjust the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks to get the most open starting photo possible. Now let's go to the luminance in the HSL panel and lower the luminance of the blue. Then let's also reduce the saturation of the blue. Next we go to hue, adjust the oranges, and the yellows, but don't overdo it. Return to luminance and increase the oranges to put more emphasis on the lights. Increase the saturation of the oranges as well. Then click on Open. Duplicate the layer. Now choose a light one and open it with Camera Raw to refine it. Increasing exposure, contrast, and clarity. Then click Open. Now click Apply. Open the layer with Camera Raw and start working on the lights. Increase the exposure, lower the highlights, slightly increase the whites and adjust the blacks a bit. Then click OK. Now let's see a quick before and after of what has been done with our mask. Next, we'll go to Neural Vibrance Click on red, take the light mask we applied earlier and duplicate it, replacing the vibrance mask. Now adjust the saturation, then merge everything into a new layer. Duplicate the layer. Go back to Neural Mask, choose a very contrasted and selective dark mask, number 4 is perfect. Open it in Camera Raw, increase the clarity to the maximum, also increase the contrast, then click OK to return to Photoshop. Click Apply. Open the layer in Camera Raw to work on the shadows. Lower the exposure, contrast, and highlights, increase the shadows. Lower the whites and increase the blacks. Also decrease the vibrance while slightly increasing the saturation. Then adjust the temperature slightly towards blue. Now click OK and return to Photoshop. Now we can see how we've worked exclusively on the shadow areas. Let's also look at where we started from. For me, it's already a great result, but let's continue for those who want to push further. Merge everything into a new layer, duplicate it, choose a light one, open the mask in Camera Raw, and set the clarity to maximum. Return to Photoshop, click Apply, and open the layer in Camera Raw. In the Masks panel, create a new radial gradient, starting from the light point of the sunset and create an oval shape along the horizon. Then, increase the blacks, warm up the temperature a bit, reduce some contrast, and add a bit of exposure. At this point, create another radial gradient, make a slightly smaller oval shape on the horizon, lower the dehaze,
a bit of exposure and decrease the highlight slightly. Create another radial gradient. Make a shape on the reflected lights. And warm it up a bit. Click OK to open it in Photoshop. Don't worry if you create halos during this stage. As you can see, thanks to the neural masks, the effect will only be applied to the targeted areas. Merge everything into a new layer. Duplicate it and choose a dark mask that suits the current shadows. In my case, refine a dark 3 in Camera Raw. Increase the contrast and a bit of clarity. Click OK to open it in Photoshop. And then click Apply. Open the layer in Camera Raw. Go to HSL. Lower the luminance of blue, magenta and purple. Then decrease the saturation of blue. Lower the luminance of the curves and slightly open the curve adjustment. Perfect like that. Increase the clarity a bit and click OK. Let's take a quick look at the before and after of what has been done. Merge everything into a new layer. Open the layer in Camera Raw. Increase the texture to the maximum and click OK. Apply a black mask and with a white brush set to 25% flow, paint over the areas affected by strong light. Let's see the effect we've applied. Merge everything into a new layer. Create an empty layer. Set the blending mode to hard light. Take a light one and open it in Camera Raw. Increase the contrast, slightly open the shadows, and click OK. Now, click Apply. Choose the color of the light present in our photo. and then paint over the areas of strong light.
merge everything into a new layer, and if necessary, remove any spots and objects that are distracting in the frame. If you notice here, there's an empty part of the frame that's distracting, and the overall composition is quite unbalanced. This is where the perspective warp can help us. Select the three main composition layers, foreground, midground, and sky. Now start to warp, adjusting the composition. If there's still a small gap remaining, fix it with the Content-Aware Fill. Now let's give the final touch with Neural Sharp. Select the blue channel, and adjust the opacity according to your sharpness preference. I'd say the photo is now finished. That's all for this video. Remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. If you have any suggestions for upcoming video tutorials, don't hesitate to ask. See you next time.